So with any email you send, the most important part as far as getting people into the email is going to be that first line. Obviously your subject line is super important, the rest of the copy is super important, but if that first line is messed up, you're not going to get people to read the whole thing. So this is one of the most useful, simple little things that you can do to do a good job with this is, first of all, this is really important to understand. If you're using a curiosity type subject line, don't give away the answer in the first line of your email because it's going to show up in that preview text and people are going to be able to see it when they're just scrolling their email. They won't have any reason to open because you've already given it away. But as far as your first line goes, your first line, if it's a sales letter, if it's a video, whatever it is, is super important to make sure that people keep reading. The point of the first line is to get people to read the second line. The point of the second line is to get people to read the third line. It's not to sell the thing, it's not to teach a lesson, it's to get people to keep going down what's called the slippery slide, right? The slippery slope, whatever, slip and slide, I don't care what slippery object we're talking about. Uh, it's basically lube, it's email lube, that first line, that's what you want to think of it as. So, when it comes to your first line, this is one of the just simplest things you can do with it is make it short, right? So if you look at these two types of text, right? Let's say that's your first line of an email. That's not hugely intimidating. Now this is what a lot of people do. They put this big block of text. Right when you open the email, there's just this block of text. And so what your brain does, it goes, I don't want to read all that, right? People are lazy. People are so much lazier than you think they are. If you're watching this video, you're probably not that lazy compared to the normal person. So what you have to understand is people get intimidated by large blocks of text. So you want that first sentence. I almost always make the first line of my email just one line because I want people to keep going. I want that empty space so they're just like, okay, I can read this, I can do this. A lot of people's look like this. Right, what looks easier to read? It's this one here, right? This nice little squiggly line. I'm very good at art. Uh, so when you open up an email and you've just got this big block, it's too intimidating. People don't want to read it. So what you do is you lube them up and you get them ready for the whole thing. So your first line is just email lube or a bit of an open loop, some curiosity, something to get them to keep reading. That's what you want to focus on in your first line. That's what I got for you. If you want to make more from your list, if you want to see what mistakes you might be making, Go to listdnatest.com, L-I-S-T, dnatest.com. You can fill out that test and figure out how to make more from your list.